Does Jess feel like crumpets today? The mornings were really starting to get chilly. Autumn leaves were falling softly from the trees. It was 6am, a beautiful, quiet, Friday public holiday. Jess smiled as she realised she didn't have to get dressed for work. She snuggled into her pillow for just five minutes longer. But her dogs wanted nothing of this. Danny, her male great Dane across Ridgeback, was 11 this year. Quite an age for such a huge dog to reach. Jess respected that he was a lot slower now and that he felt the cold easily. She had got him a padded canvas zip-up jacket to keep him warm. The hair around his happy brown eyes was greying now and he looked tired. But if he heard the slightest noise, he was up in a flash to protect his domain with all the strength of a young puppy. He would dart outside and have the fiercest bark. She was sure nobody would dare enter. Lily was Jess's 11-year-old cute, lovable little Yorkie cross dachshund. Jess had rescued her as a puppy when she'd found her on the side of the road a few months before Danny had come along. It was a no-brainer that she would be Jess's companion and confidant from that moment on. Lily always slept against Jess, under her own little duvet on top of Jess's, and followed her absolutely everywhere. Every summer, Jess would lovingly clip her hair and Lily would lie contentedly, enjoying the attention. Then would dart around, glancing in the full-length mirror proudly, so grateful for the short hair and seemed to love her new look. Then there was Neon, Jess's beloved three-year-old Great Dane Cross Irish Wolfhound. She had longish black hair and had so much energy. Jess had to constantly remind her not to be too rough when playing with Danny. Neon was a gentle soul but clumsy and had a never-ending wagging tail, which if you weren't careful would hit you in the eye if you were sitting down, and on more than one occasion had made her brother Ben double over in pain when she whacked him dead in the crotch. Jess would bend over laughing, trying to calm Neon down, who by this time would be even more excited at the laughing, and her dangerous weapon of a tail would wag even faster. Jess would eventually have to sit on the floor and let Neon sit on her lap, talking to her softly to try to calm her excitable nature. Jess also had a black and white cat, Pie. She named him that because as a kitten, he resembled a blackberry pie with cream. Pie was quite a character. He thought he was a dog and would dash out with Lily, Danny and Neon and jump against the wall if someone passed by with spurts of loud growls as best he could resemble a bark. It was hilarious to watch. Pie also loved to lie with Danny and lick his face clean. Danny absolutely loved his pie bath and would lie down on the couch in the sun to enjoy the pampering. Mind you, if Danny didn't lie still, Pi would grab his face with both paws, claw slightly out and lick ferociously as if to tell him to lie still. Neon would poke her head in to ask for a lick too, would get one, then would get swatted away as if to say, wait your turn. Lily, however, hated to be licked so would yap at him if he got a lick in. All of Jess's animals were neutered because she believed it was important to prevent unwanted animals and they were family to her. She lived with her brother in an old run-down house they'd bought to fix up slowly and sell later. Jess lay under her duvet, pondering all the wonderful antics of her beloved animals. When Neon stood up on her bed and nuzzled at the covers, growl moaning as if to say, When are you getting our breakfast? Then Pi started jumping onto Jess, over her head, and back over again, letting out a loud prr, 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 as he jumped. Lily grumbled softly from under her covers, hoping they would go away. She enjoyed her morning snuggle. Danny saw the commotion from under his blanket on the couch in Jess's room and got up, dragging the blanket he was under with him and poked his cold, wet nose under Jess's duvet onto her cheek. Ugh, this is impossible, you guys, Jess shrieked. Okay, okay, I'm getting up. She let them out into her backyard to sniff around and do their morning rituals while she prepared their breakfast. Jess carried their bowls and placed them on the garden chairs on her porch so they could eat elevated. Lily ate in the bedroom undisturbed. Pi ate on the bench in the kitchen away from the others so that they didn't gobble down their food and try to steal his. Hmm, what could I have that is different from my usual morning work smoothie? Jess pondered to herself. I think that seen as it's a holiday and I have the whole day to myself, I'm going to spoil myself with some delicious homemade crumpets, Jess said loudly to Neon, who had finished her breakfast and was looking expectantly at Jess, in case there were any treats around. 
Yes, you guys can also have one. Jess laughed at all four animals, who were now sitting patiently in the lounge, eagerly waiting to see what Jess was going to do in the kitchen next. Here is Jess's easy crumpet recipe. Enjoy! Crumpets Ingredients 2 cups of flour a pinch of salt 4 teaspoons of baking powder 125 mls of sugar 250 mls of milk 25 mls of oil or melted butter 2 eggs 4 teaspoons of cocoa This is totally optional, but Jess loves to put it in Directions Mix eggs and sugar Add milk and oil and mix Add dry ingredients Pour spoons full in a hot frying pan Turn when bubbles appear You can cover it with a lid if you like Serve with syrup And eat <laughs>